Hey everyone, so as you can tell from the video, I'm going to be doing two first impressions. One on the... One on the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation, and the other in the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Peach Bisque. I'm going to be trying them out together because they are two new products that I have never tried before. My dog's trying to get in the video. Come on. 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 So no matter what, I don't think it would be a fair t fair comparison or fair... So no matter what, I don't think it would be very fair if I didn't put a primer on underneath this because no matter what, no matter the product, I will always be wearing a primer underneath it. So with that being said, I will put a primer on. I'm going to put my uh, Maybelline Age Rewind Primer. I'm just going to put it where my pores are larger and then work it outwards. And if you are interested in what I have on my eyes, I will be posting a tutorial on it probably after this video. Um, and if you want to know what upcoming tutorials I will be posting, if you want to follow me on Instagram, um, it's the Beauty MVP. Then you'll see that all the upcoming tutorials I'll have. I usually post pictures in advance. Oh, my nose ring. Okay. So now that that's on, I'm going to start with the foundation. I have this in 3W1 Tawny 37. The container looks like this. There is one fluid ounce. It says warning, keep out of eyes, stop if irritation uh, occurs, keep out of reach of children common sense kind of stuff. Now it doesn't come with a pump. Um, I do know that the MAC pump fits absolutely perfect in this container or so I have heard. So what I will do is just put some on my finger and dab it around my face. I really don't know how much I need. Okay, I think that's a fair amount of product. So I just dot it all around my face, like so. I'm going to take my Damp Beauty Blender and start bouncing. When I purchased this foundation, I saw that they had a double double wear mat, which I didn't get that one best I've ever seen. But I'm good with that. Like, I'm good with this amount. I won't be putting another layer on. And so now for the concealer, it is this bisky color. Rub my finger in it and tap it underneath my eye. For this I'll use my finger so that some warmth from my finger will warm up the product. Right off the bat it's not as um, peachy as I thought it would be.
with all the black circles I've got going on, this is not as high coverage as I wish it was. I don't know what to think about this. I have to blend this down my neck is what I think. As you see, I have some redness right here, right here, and right there. And that's something that the foundation did not cover. So what I'm going to do is take a bit of the concealer And that seemed to cover it pretty well. So this is what it looks like. Um, I don't really have a proper impression right now. It looks fine. I'm not wowed by it. It's not amazing. Um, so I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I'll check back in a little while. Hey guys, so um, this is what my face looks like once I completely finished. I did set my whole face with a powder, but I would do that no matter with what foundation. Like, yeah, I would do it with any foundation that I ever put on my face. Crap, I even set freaking um, airbrush makeup with, uh, with powder. So um, here's a close-up of what everything looks like. Um, the eyes will be done in another tutorial, which should be up on my channel soon. Um, and then this is what the face looks like. So, um, that's it. I will let you know, um, how it wears and everything, but that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye!